Well, good morning, kids. Um, we have a different type. I didn't think I was going to be doing this kind of episode, which is why I'm, you know, dressed in this because I'm going to try to kill two stones with one bird. We're going to uh, replace this muffler yet again. Um, and I'll just, you know, here, here, you'll see why. So this was the, I think the cheapest type muffler. Indian side and uh, this is this is it I like nice sounding exhaust this is kind of I'm a high school kid that can't afford a muffler that fell off or one you might hear the first month that you're like they pull me over not that one it does not have a very good tone to it. Personally speaking, I, I don't think it does. Um, to each their own. Um, we're gonna be taking that one off. And we're going to be adding a different tone. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, by a very well known name in performance mufflers. And uh, I did not go cheap on this one. This, uh, well, she's a Magnaflow. One of them's at my local parts store there. And I have heard these things, excuse me, light. I've heard these things, um, like, not in person, but like secondhand person, like on YouTube. -age and they don't sound bad from what i've heard and uh i kind of I, I think it's gonna have a go good mellow you know like one of dims that's what i like now we have also done some upgradage to the sunfire bird aka project phoenix um have you guys been wondering where do people get these real fat white letter tires? Well, I I did not spend four hundred dollars a tire to get them. They were a little pricey on the Amazonian site, but if you type in white letter decal kit or something like that, you'll find these. Check these things out. Now these I thought was slick, man. Look at that. Change the whole daggone looks of the car. You don't see these. And you can get them in like multiple brands. You can get Toyo, obviously Michelin, probably Goodyear. I don't know. They even have one if you really want to spend the extra, extra money. Uh, you can get your own custom ones. That's up to you. Whatever you want to do. I mean, it's your world, squirrel. But. We did that, actually we finished it this morning, and I gotta say, hashtag big fan of it. So, we're gonna, we're gonna keep on keeping on with that. We also upgraded the brakes. Now, like I say, this is supposed to be a project build, and being as that, to me, it's still a project build, because... I don't know. I just wanted something different. Not everyone has. Sunfires are pretty common. The big raised white letters, not common at all. I don't know anyone in town that has those. No one. Never even seen one before. Especially on a Sunfire. Who does that? This dude. Um, you can do a couple different things with your brakes. These cars, along with Cavaliers, they are known for the front brakes, the rotors just warping like crazy. I don't know if everybody just like rides their brakes in these cars or if it's some sort of machined flaw, I don't know. But we went with these and these are again, Detroit Axle, the same ones that was on the uh, mullet machine. Not the same ones, but the same brand. And I will tell you, those particular ones fit perfectly 
on here. I didn't have to modify the like the little brackets or anything. So, and they stop really great. I got cross drilled mainly because I'm hoping to prevent having to buy rotors anytime soon. You know, these are vented from the factory. They're vented. Um, also, they just kind of look a little cool. We're going with the whole, you know, not fast, just furious kind of look. What else can you get beside cross drilled rotors? I mean, that just, that screams, you know, just want to go fast, but can't. Um, I will tell you this. If you have the 2.2 overhead valve, not the dual overhead cam, pretty much expect you're going to hear this car before you see it. Like about three minutes in advance if you have this kind of muffler. Um, so that's why we're changing it. I want a nice tone. I don't mind a nice louder type exhaust. Louder. Not that type of loudness. That's annoyingness to me. And it has to go. It's just, it's got to go. That's just all there is to it. So, um, yeah. Uh, I think we're going to get busy. It shouldn't take, I don't think it'll take that long since I've already, you know, somewhat done this before. I only have like two clamps to take off and the whole muffler goes ting on the ground. So, anyway, I'm going to stop talking about it. I just want to show you guys some really cool things on it. Did I show you guys the logos in the center? I'm not sure if I did or not. This side's upside down, so we'll see if we have... Dang it, that one is too. What in the world? Okay, here's one that's not. So, we put our own little touch on the center caps. Because why not? And if you're wondering, if you've lost your center caps and you have those somewhat even type wheels, I think they're all pretty much the same. Um, I think I spent... 22 bucks on the Amazonian site for all four. Painted them gold, obviously. They came black. So, you know, I'm just saying, there is cheap alternatives. You don't have to buy the direct brand. I don't even know what brand these wheels are. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if they're Koenigs or whatever kind of brand they have for you know, type ricer type cars. I, I don't know. But anyway... We're going to get started. I've been yakking way too much. It's early in the morning. And uh, we're going to see how a Magnaflow sounds on this. All right. So give me a few minutes. We're going to unbolt. See what we need to do. Put him back on. And listen for it. All right. Um, give me about 12 minutes. But it's going to go real quick. I promise you. Hold on. Well, uh, we got the old muffler off, and we noticed something instantly. It, it is way more bigger than the other one. In fact, one's 14 inches, one's 16 inches, which is not a big deal. It'll still fit. However, that means we got to cut all this connecting tube pipe thingy. FYI, if you're reusing this, cut you a little relief cut whenever you're removing it. If not, the war is on. Um, because it was fun trying to get it off of there, just to say the least bit. So now we're going to have to cut in here, connect all that goodness right, right there. Also, this is a lot bigger than this feller. See that? I mean, like, yep. So that's good. Um, but we're gonna cut six inches of pipe out of this. And hopefully over there somewhere, we have the right kind of connector to like butt the pipe up together. Cause if not, the old Sunfire Bird's gonna be really loud for about 15, 20 minutes. Whenever I run in town and go get the right connector or I'm just taking another car. But you know, what else? So anyway, Hopefully the next video, next video, the next clip that will take me about 10, 12 minutes again, you'll be able to hear the Magnaflow muffler on this bad boy. And I'm kind of anxious for that one because I've always wanted a Magnaflow muffler. 
and this will tell me if I really do still want a magnet foil muffler. So give me about give me about 12 to 14 minutes, I think. Hopefully. Alright? Just wish me luck. That's that's what we really need right now. Alright. Hold on one second. Well, um, we learned a few things. We always do, um, especially when it comes to exhaust work. One is, why use clamps if you got a welder? <laughs> yeah, that happened. So, being as I said that, I did not have any of the right connectors, which is not even a surprise to me. But, I did have this here tool. This is a... Tail pipe expander. What the frig did it do with it? And then it, it's already missing. That's great. Awesome. It's, uh, hold on. I may have actually put it back. Not like this stuff. But, um, it's a tail pipe expander. And this one's good from like two and an eighth to three and a half. And it's seriously missing. I just like had it. Ah, there it is. This tailpipe expander. You tighten the back end of this and this spreads out. And you gotta, that's my size. So I had a three inch inside diameter and I needed a three inch outside diameter to go over the muffler part. And um, I don't have clamps for that. So, I fit it on real nice and snug. And then we just kind of, you know, well, I'll show you. And this is how good she turned out. I mean, tailpipe sticking out a little bit. And we ended up welding it, you know, there and there. Left that clamped, but you know. And the even more gooder part is, I saved a clamp. An old use clamp, sure did. Um, where I measured, I cut out six, actually I cut out seven inches of pipe because I did want a little bit of tailpipe, which I might have to trim that back just a scotch. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I was able to use almost everything. I had to use one more connector that was different. And then, uh, I just had to weld the rest because I didn't have clamps for the bigger or the smaller hose. Pipe. I'm a little tired. Can you tell? Anyway, without further ado. Did I switch this muffler? I hope that's not the exact same tone that I just switched out. Nope, it's not. Good. See, the other one. The more you hit the gas, the higher that fart sound went. This one's a little more deep, as you can hear. And it sounds like that injector is just not pulsating just right. So, I mean, that's what you get. I've ran some fuel cleaner. I've got some fuel cleaner in it right now. I'm trying to make it, uh, you know, run more gooder. But... Overall, I gotta say, I like this muffler better already than the last one. This one seems to mellow down as you hit the gas, where the other one went way up and out of the stadium. And I'm not a big fan of that. So, Magnaflow in, and this is the last muffler I'm putting on this darn thing, because, uh, yeah, that's, we're mufflered out. We could have bought like a Borla muffler probably exhaust system now for one of these cars it can't be more than 200 bucks right i mean who spends that much money in a sunfire anyway so if you like that really loud and it gets louder kind of i don't have a muffler on the car kind of sound you can get on the amazonian site and this was the company of the last one this is what it was called and you get a decal Magnaflow, I did not get a decal. What's up, dude? Why no decal? How am I gonna, how am I gonna, I mean, just, 
there was no arrow pointing whatever way you put this muffler on so i think i did it the right way i mean it sounds sounds like a gosh dang exhaust fart can kind of but hopefully it's nowhere near as annoying as the last one because that was really horrible for me i mean i almost had to go see a therapist it's bad so not really not therapist just saying it wasn't good or not to me this one i'm definitely gonna have to trim that tailpipe down i think because it sticks just a just a yeah we don't like that do we no we don't like it so we're gonna trim him back a little bit and well there you go for a magnaflow versus a sticker that i now have on my toolbox that i don't have on a car but you know i got muffler so if anybody really needs a muffler just send me a message and uh <laughs> you can have it <laughs> and uh yeah, I'll, as long as you like like this video or whatever and you know subscribe or whatever you know that would be great you know you get a free muffler out of it what have you one that sounds like a fart can but you know to each their own but anyway guys um i want to thank you guys for watching this was another yet unplanned video and hopefully it you know it helps somebody to either go with a muffler or not go with a muffler and uh if you don't mind guys if you just just right down it's somewhere that old subscribe button if you don't mind click it tell your friends you know watch it on a rainy day watch it on a not so sunny day because it's too gorgeous out but watch it at night it's great and as always thanks for watching you guys have a great weekend see you next time here on right turn garage tv